You should talk about uh, your own little tenure with the Chili Peppers. Oh, you mean when John Frusciante quit the band? Uh, yeah. I, uh, I was in the Chili Peppers for one hot minute. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> It's funny because uh, yeah, they they called me when John quit the band and after his like uh, he was like that did that notorious Saturday Night Live appearance and uh, and then in Japan he just sort of I I guess lost lost it and quit the band so I don't know for sure but I think I might have been one of two calls that they made um, and uh, uh, they said hey we want you to come over to Australia and we want you to you know, play 10 shows with us. It was just after the, re- the release of, of Blood Sugar Sex Magic. And uh, I didn't have anything better to do. So uh, I went over to Australia and I rehearsed with them for a week. And uh, I think, you know, because I, I would like to, I, I don't know for sure, but I'd like to, to set the record straight for myself, that I was able to play all those songs within the time allotted and I would have gotten up in front of those those big massive audiences and, and kicked some ass. But I think what ended ha- up happening was that they, they probably felt a little bit bad for soldiering on uh, without John so soon, and it might have come from management, um, or it may have just been that, you know, it was like I, I had, like, you know, if we were to do photo shoots, I would have to put on Daddy's knee socks, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that wouldn't have gone well. <laughs> what was the uh, legendary for Shantae Saturday Night Live? Am I? I think he appeared on Saturday Night Live, and he was like, ah, 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 like doing like these background vocals, sort of like uh, sounded a little bit like Yoko Ono. Yeah, I, I I don't know for sure. So what did did they end up canceling those ten shows? They did end up canceling those those ten shows. They had a, like a number one record, and that was mm-hmm. like their their big push and stuff. And you know it was it was kind of a little screwed up for me because I you know I, I was on like MTV News as Xander Schloss is the new Chili Pepper and did you say hello to Joe Strummer when you're on MTV News? Joe, if you're watching right now, it's Xander. I'm, I'm I'm talking to you from Australia. I'm the new Chili Pepper man. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it wasn't like that. But yeah, it was a bummer because every like when I came back, kind of with my tail between my legs, everybody was like, "Dude, you're the new Chili Pepper." Girls were running up to me with their like mouths open, ready to blow me and stuff. And I was like, oh, "No, I'm not." I probably should have just said, "Yeah, I am." <laughs> You know. I wonder what Bob's reaction was for that whole episode. Oh God, Bob! <laughs> I have to. Oh, when Bob heard that the Chili Peppers had called me, he rushed over there, and he basically said that you are not getting in the town car until you pay me five hundred bucks. <laughs> like finder's fee? No, he he was just like, I am not going to to let you go on tour with the Chili Peppers unless you pay me off. <laughs> You know, he's a weird, he was a drug addict. Right. So, and then, uh, yeah, it was pretty wild. I came home, and I, I had been on a record contract with Thelonious Monster and on Capitol Records, and they, they had taken me off the record contract. So not only was I not in the Red Hot Chili Peppers, but I those the Thelonious Monster had taken me off a major label contract with Capitol Records. Not good times. Yeah, I must have missed it by that much. Missed it by that much. <laughs>